back. I'm feeling a little bit better. So this is the infamous Eat the Page lecture. And I'm going to start that out by just showing you a quotation, one of my favorites, and soon to be one of yours. Nothing is at last sacred but the integrity of your own mind. And that was written by Ralph Waldo Emerson. So I want you to think about that a little bit. Have you thought about that? Now, if you were going to paraphrase it, what you'd need to do is metaphorically digest it. So I'm going to be doing a number of metaphors for writing. Over 90% of you who commented at all in your Get Acquainted essay about what you wanted to learn, it had to do with writing. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to eat this quote. Mm. I got to really chew it up. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Gotta digest it. I bet you're getting the metaphor. It's that you have to. If you're gonna put something in your own words, it has to be part of you. It has to uh, be something that you're familiar enough with that it can come out in a different form, transformed, but still accurately representing the original. So that's really quite a feat. And if you cannot do that, or don't make yourself capable of doing that, here's what happens. You can't be part of the conversation. That is the academic conversation. And really many conversations, because you've got to be able to put in your own words what somebody else is saying, in order to really respond to it, right? Okay, so that's going to take a different form. If I wanted to just insert that quote in my paper, I wouldn't just throw it in there. That wouldn't even be respecting the integrity, excuse me, integrity of my own mind if I did that. I want to set it up by leading into it. Sometimes this is called a signal phrase. So we've got renowned American transcendentalist philosopher, Ralph Waldo Emerson proclaimed that, and then we've led into the quote, and we've got a parenthetical, MLA parenthetical, after that, that helps clarify where that came from, a uh, famous essay written by Emerson, okay? But, really, to paraphrase and use my own mind, it's got to come out in my own words. So um, I will put this in a PowerPoint for you too. But basically, we've led into it with the same lead in. But this time, we went ahead and we put it in our own words. This one's a tough one because it's beautifully said. It's so eloquent in the first place that it doesn't really do it justice to paraphrase it. But I did it anyway. OK, so in the final analysis, uh, that which is sacrosanct resides only within the character of one's own mind. And then you'll notice, uh, follow that up with a little bit of analysis of my own, um, which is not a bad idea because, again, I mean, you're, you're not some sort of robot that simply um, sticks quotes in a paper, chunks them in there, or even paraphrases without connection, without the logical point that you're making. And why is it in your context of your paper? What is it you're trying to establish with that quote? All right, so I put on my little whiteboard here, in line with this metaphor of digesting and paraphrasing and then expressing in one's own way of saying it, what is the essentials of the quote, uh, I put a number of ways in which, even in a in a research type situation, what is involved? It's your mind, it's your argument, your claim, it's your thesis, it's your evidence that you've gathered, right? Uh, it's your analysis, your commentary, it's you that 
is doing the weighing, evaluating, uh, inferring, and criticizing. We can go on and on with that. But the point is, it's you, and you have not given away your mind uh, whoops, to, uh, to, to some other sources or something like that. I know, I know. There's this nefarious theory out there that when you research, uh, you're supposed to be, quote, 100% objective and just present the evidence and the experts' opinions and get out of the way and let the reader make up his or her own mind. I I'm not really going to go into that right now, uh, why that is such a fallacy. We'll talk about that later because it's time for this video to end. But I hope you uh, got the point of the metaphor and there will be more. Okay, bye.